hello guys welcome back to the channel if you are new here i'm clemens and i put content relating to tech web design if this sounds interesting to you please hit the subscribe button and like this video so in this quick tutorial we'll be learning how to create a website screen mockup like this coming right up after the intro we'll be using photoshop and google chrome for this tutorial you can use any other browser such as firefox so once you have the website open in your chrome browser you go to the three dots on the right side go to more tools and developer tools by the way if you don't have these options here go to the left side and click on the small icon to enable the responsive options once you have that click on the small icon beside the responsive go to edit add custom device so I will leave this here, we will now go to Photoshop. This is the mockup I will be using for the tutorial. You can download the same thing by going to the description and clicking on the link there. Once you have your mockup ready, you will start with the computer. Double click on the small icon there. Then double click again to open it as it's a smart object. This is where we'll put the screenshot of the website. Go to image and image size. The size of the canvas is 1833 by 1023. This is the size that we we'll use to capture the website in order for the picture to fit perfectly to the edges else we will have scaling issue due to the different aspect ratio now close this and go back to google chrome now we input the sizes here 1833 by 1023 choose desktop now enter a device name for easy recognition I will use the sizes as the name. Now click on add. Go back to the responsive options and select the device we just added. Now the website will rescale according to the size. Now the website has loaded, we can now capture the screen. Go to the three dots at the bottom and click on capture screenshot. Once it's active, you will see it at the bottom. I'll go to my downloads folder. Good, you have the image saved. Let's open up Photoshop and drag and drop the image onto the canvas. As you can see, it has fit perfectly onto the canvas, so we don't have a scaling issue. Once done, go to File, Save. Close this one. File and save again. Close this one as well. Now the screen has been updated. We'll repeat the same for the laptop and the phone, but there need to be a tweaking due to the phone size, so stay tuned. I'll go to image and check the size again. 1500 by 984 
go back to Chrome, add a new device. Fifteen hundred by nine eighty four. Choose desktop. Enter the name. And add again. I'll go back to the options and select what we just added. Capture the screenshot again. Go back to Photoshop and drop the image onto the canvas. Save it. Close. Save this one, then close it. Now go to the phone. Image size to check the size again 1080 by 1920. Go to the responsive option and choose the device we've added. Sometimes you need to hit the refresh button for the website to load correctly. As you can see, we have a problem here. The website is too zoom out. If you should visit this website on your mobile, you'll see the difference. It's not all that zoom out. So what we have to do is to reduce the size and we have to do that in a way to maintain the aspect ratio in order not to have a scaling issue. So what I'll do is to reduce the size up to about 65%. I'll go back to the mobile device we've added and click on this icon to edit. So like I said, I will reduce this size to about 65%. You might not need to do any calculation if you are using the same mockup. Just input the numbers there, 378. by 672 Click save Okay, now it has loaded correctly. This is what you see when you visit the website on your mobile. 
go ahead and capture this one as well I'll scroll this image up and now we'll hold down the alt key to scale it from the center and set the transformation save then close it Save this one and close. Now we have all our mockups ready. By the way, everything here is separated on the layers panel, so you can disable and add your own background and stuffs. You can even move the devices around. The mockup in the description that you download has the tablet device which you can also add to if you need to. Let's now go and export our design. Go to file, export, then save for web legacy. We now have our beautiful mockup. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit the like button.